Ladies and gentlemen, gather around because today we're about to witness a heavyweight showdown that will leave you on the edge of your seat. In one corner, we have the Beast Incarnate, the conqueror of UFC and WWE, none other than Brock Lesnar. And in the other corner, we have the Beast 2.0, the Nightmare, the Iranian Hulk, the one and only Martin Ford. Now, for those of you who don't know who these titans are, let me fill you in. Brock Lesnar is a former NCAA Division I wrestling champion, a UFC heavyweight champion, and a WWE superstar with a resume that'll make your jaw drop. He's a physical specimen with an intimidating presence, to say the least. And then we have Martin Ford, a former professional cricket player turned bodybuilder who is known for his incredible transformation from a skinny teenager to a monstrous six foot eight inch behemoth. He's got muscles on his muscles and his sheer size will make you question your life choices. But enough about their backgrounds, let's talk about why you're really here. You want to know who would win in a fight between these two mammoths. You want to see them go toe to toe, mano a mano, and duke it out until only one remains standing. And that's precisely what we're going to delve into in this video. All right, let's dive a little deeper into Martin Ford, the British behemoth with a body that could make even the rock jealous. This dude is a legend in the bodybuilding world, but he's also made a name for himself in the acting and combat sports arenas. So let's take a closer look at his early life and career, shall we? Martin was born on May 26, 1982 in Minworth, Birmingham, UK. As a kid, he was pretty average in terms of size and strength. In fact, he was even a little overweight. But that all changed when he hit his teenage years. Martin started working out and, as he puts it, fell in love with the iron. From there, he was hooked. He started competing in bodybuilding competitions in his early 20s, and it wasn't long before he started racking up titles. In fact, he won the IFBB British title in 2013 and the WBFF Pro title in 2016. So, we're talking major bragging rights. But Martin's ambitions didn't stop at bodybuilding. He wanted to take his muscle-bound physique and put it to use in other ways. So, he started dabbling in acting. And let me tell you, seeing a guy like that on the big screen is a trip. I mean, imagine the mountain from Game of Thrones, but even bigger, that's Martin. He landed his first major acting role in the British crime drama K Shop in 2016. And while the movie itself may not have been a blockbuster, Martin's performance certainly got people talking. He even had a brief cameo in the Marvel movie The Dark World, which is no small feat. But it turns out acting wasn't the only new career path Martin was interested in pursuing. He also had his sights set on combat sports. And I'm not talking about just lifting heavy weights. I'm talking about getting in the cage and throwing down. Martin started training in MMA and quickly made a name for himself in the amateur circuit. He won his first amateur fight in 2018 and went on to have his first professional fight in 2019. And let me tell you, watching a guy that big, that ripped, throw down in the cage is a sight to behold. Now, let's talk about Martin's physical attributes and fighting style. Obviously, his size is his biggest advantage. At 6 foot 8 inches and 320 pounds, he's a giant among men. And while some might argue that his size would slow him down in the cage, Martin has proven that he's actually quite agile and quick on his feet. In terms of his fighting style, Martin is a bit of a mixed bag. He's got a background in wrestling and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, which makes him a formidable opponent on the ground. But he's also got some serious power in his hands. In fact, his first professional fight ended in a first round knockout. So don't let his size fool you. Martin can pack a punch. 
All in all, Martin Ford is a force to be reckoned with. Whether he's lifting heavy weights, gracing the silver screen, or throwing down in the cage, he's a true powerhouse. And who knows what he'll conquer next? Maybe he'll become the world's strongest man, or take up underwater basket weaving. The sky's the limit for this guy. Now, let's switch gears and talk about another behemoth in the combat sports world, the one and only Brock Lesnar. This guy is an absolute monster, and he's dominated in both the WWE and the UFC. So, let's take a closer look at his life and career, shall we? Brock was born on July 12, 1977, in Webster, South Dakota. He grew up on a farm and was a standout high school wrestler. He went on to wrestle at the University of Minnesota, where he became an NCAA Division I heavyweight champion. Not too shabby, huh? After college, Brock signed with the WWE and quickly became a fan favorite. He was a force to be reckoned with in the ring, and he was known for his intensity and his signature move, the F5. He won his first WWE Championship in 2002, and he went on to become one of the biggest stars in the business. But Brock's ambitions didn't stop at the WWE. He wanted to test himself in the world of mixed martial arts. So, in 2008, he signed with the UFC. Brock's first fight in the UFC was against former champion Frank Mir. And while he lost that fight, he quickly rebounded and won the UFC heavyweight title in his next fight against Randy Couture. He defended the title a few times before losing it to Cain Velasquez, but he remained a major player in the UFC for years to come. Now, let's talk about Brock's physical attributes and fighting style. Obviously, his size is his biggest advantage. At 6 foot 3 inches and over 260 pounds, He's a massive human being, but he's not just big, he's also incredibly strong and athletic. And let's not forget about his wrestling background. Brock is a master at takedowns and ground and pound. But Brock's fighting style isn't just brute force. He's also got some serious technique. He's got a background in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, and he's got some slick submissions in his arsenal. And let's not forget about his striking. Brock might not have the most technical stand-up game, but he's got some serious power in his hands. All in all, Brock Lesnar is a true powerhouse. Whether he's dominating in the WWE or stepping into the octagon, he's a force to be reckoned with. All right, folks, we've talked about Martin Ford and Brock Lesnar individually, but now it's time to compare these two beasts and see how they stack up against each other. So let's dive in, shall we? When it comes to fighting styles, these two are pretty different. Martin has a background in bodybuilding and has recently transitioned to combat sports. He's been working on his striking and grappling, and he's even had a couple of amateur MMA fights. He's got a lot of power in his hands, and he has shown that he's not afraid to go to the ground. Brock, on the other hand, has a wrestling background and has used his takedowns and ground and pound to dominate in the UFC. He's also got some serious power in his hands and has shown that he's not afraid to stand and bang. But his bread and butter is definitely his wrestling. So what would happen if these two behemoths were to face off in a hypothetical fight? Well, it's hard to say for sure, but there are a few things to consider. First off, Martin is relatively new to combat sports, so he might not have the same level of experience as Brock. But he's been working hard to improve and has shown a lot of potential. Plus, his size and power could be a major advantage. On the other hand, Brock has been in the game for a long time and has faced some of the best fighters in the world. He's got a ton of experience and has proven time and time again that he's a force to be reckoned with. If this fight were to go to the ground, it's likely that Brock would have the advantage. His wrestling skills are some of the best in the world, and he's been able to control some of the best ground fighters in the UFC. 
But if the fight stays standing, Martin's size and power could give him the edge. He's got a lot of raw power in his hands, and if he can connect with a big shot, it could be lights out for Brock. All in all, it's hard to say who would come out on top in a hypothetical fight between Martin Ford and Brock Lesnar. Both of these guys are absolute monsters, and it would definitely be a spectacle to see them throw down. But one thing's for sure, it would be one hell of a fight. So what do you think? Who do you think would come out on top in a hypothetical fight between Martin Ford and Brock Lesnar? Do you agree with my analysis, or do you think I'm way off base? Let me know in the comments below. And while you're down there, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.